Earlier this week, Prince Harry announced he's getting married to American actress Meghan Markle. Yeah. And this is super exciting for a lot of people. I mean, because they come from different worlds, you know? Her mom is black, his family's super white. Uh, she's an actress, he's on welfare. Like, it's so romantic. And yesterday, details emerged about the engagement. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle selecting St. George's Chapel for their upcoming ceremony set to take place in May. The proposal took place over chicken dinner here at home. The engagement ring, two diamonds from jewelry belonging to Harry's mom, Diana, and a center stone from the African country, Botswana, where the couple spent their third date. Wait, hold up. <laughs> their third date was to Botswana? I mean, normally on a third date, you might go to Red Lobster, but <laughs> for a royal, you go to an entire African country? Wow. When he me good, I take his ass to Botswana. <laughs> when he me good, he take my ass to Botswana. And I say, and I say, and he <laughs> For more perspective on this royal engagement, we turn now to our actual British person, Gina Yashere, everybody. <laughs> Gina. This royal wedding has people around the world excited. So uh, in Britain, it must be pretty big. Oh, it's huge, Trevor. We haven't been this excited since Piers Morgan left for America. <laughs> Now, I can see why Americans love the royals. They're a world-famous family with tons of drama, uh, like the Kennedys, but with better security. <laughs> uh, don't boo me, boo Ted Cruz's dad. <laughs> wait, wait, but Gina, Gina, like, this is, this is good news for the royal family, because, like, Harry's always been known as a bad boy, right? A uh, bit of a womanizer, drunken fights, partying naked in Vegas. Like, they must be relieved that he's finally settling down. <laughs> settling down. This engagement is one of the most rebellious things a royal has ever done. Meghan Markle is American, she's divorced, and she's black. <laughs> this is not the traditional recipe for a princess. Even in kids' movies, they went green before black. <laughs> Look, okay, wait, I understand American and divorce, but black, is that, is that really an issue in Britain? Uh, it is for the British press. I know in America, people don't really think of Meghan as super black. One, because her name is Megan. <laughs> and two, because you can't pick her out of this lineup of white women. Yeah, I don't know where she is. I'm not lying. But to the British right wing press, Harry might as well be engaged to Wendy Williams. <laughs> How you doing? Um, look, I, I hear what you're saying, and I've been following the coverage from the UK. I, I don't know if I've seen that much racism. Exactly. The Brits do subtle racism. It's not the N-word, it's in code. Let me show you some examples. They say, meet the in-laws, the very unroyal Markle family. When they say unroyal, they really mean unwhite. <laughs> They also talk about how Meghan's parents are divorced and she comes from a broken family. You know who else comes from a broken family? Prince Harry! <laughs> <laughs> they call Meghan's family unconventional. Unconventional. The Queen is married to her own cousin. <laughs> oh, and this one, Trevor, this one's my favourite. The Daily Mail said that Meghan is almost straight out of Compton. She isn't. She actually went to a private school in Hollywood, but she's black, she's on the West Coast, so she must be in NWA. 